2019 has turned into something of an elephant's graveyard for big TV shows. The first few months of the year saw the end of the likes of Suits, Arrow, Vikings, and of course the final Netflix MCU shows, and the axe hasn't stopped swinging since then. With so many TV shows spread across so many networks and so many different platforms offering ways to consume them, there is an awful lot of competition. And that means more and more big names are suffering gnarly casualties. Of course, everything has to end, and the same things that always kill TV shows still do. Poor ratings, poor reviews, and there simply not being an appetite to continue will always spell the end for our beloved screen children. And that's the case for shows even as big as these. I am the season finale of Ash from What Culture, and these are 12 more TV shows already cancelled in 2019, and why. 12. The OA Much to the dismay of fans, Netflix's The OA was cancelled somewhat out of the blue after two seasons. Creator and star Britt Marling says she, and a supportive Netflix executive, both had a good cry when the news was revealed because she and fellow creator Zalbert Manglidge cannot now finish the story. Given its popularity, strong critical reviews, and the willingness of the creators to extend the story, Netflix's decision seems strange. But with reports that the platform are looking to spend more wisely, the likelihood here is that a renewal would come at too much of a cost. Renewing a successful show and renegotiating new deals is expensive work, and Netflix have clearly decided it is not something they can make the right sort of money on. 11. Tuca and Bertie Despite its popularity, the excellent Tuca and Bertie, which did for female relationships in animation what Bojack Horseman has done for crippling depression, will not be renewed for a second season by Netflix. It probably comes down to money in the end. It can be no coincidence that the cancellation came after Netflix reported disappointing subscriber growth figures for the second quarter and a net loss of subscribers in the US. That leads to cost-cutting and existing shows not deemed to be new subscriber draws will go first. It may not be the total end, however, as Tiffany Haddish has reportedly been talking about finding a new home for it with co-creator Lisa Hannawalt. So there is hope yet. 10. Will & Grace Will & Grace has already come back from cancellation once, despite how strange a revival looked when it originally ended, but this time it is for good. 2020 will see the 11th and final season from the gang and the cancellation comes down to diminishing returns. The 2017 revival season was popular, with good ratings and strong reviews, but the renewal for a 10th and 11th season coincided with a drop in viewing figures to historical lows. The 9th season averaged 8.8 .8 million across its 16 episodes. But that is not that impressive when you consider the debut episode's 15.8 million draw and that it ended up on only 6.5 million by the finale. Those poor fortunes continued into the 10th season, which averaged 5.31 million total viewers overall. The downward trend of the show sealed its casket. And whilst there is still another season to come, it won't go on beyond that. 9. Baskets Baskets was beloved by its fans and critically acclaimed, particularly for the performances of Zach Galifianakis and co-star Louis Anderson, but it was never anything other than a cult show. The cast might talk up it ending on a high, and it did in terms of quality for sure, but the viewing figures turned against them somewhat in the fourth season, so it's not too surprising the show will end with this conclusion. According to TV Line, the fourth season is pulling in an average of 334,000 total viewers, which is crucially 20% down, and no amount of calling it a hidden gem can save it when that sort of downturn kicks in. 8. Blind Spot a fifth and final season of Blindspot will air in 2019 to 2020, but then that will be it. And it is all down to ratings decline again. The fourth season's ratings dipped so much that it was pulled from NBC's schedule during May sweeps, which put its fate in immediate doubt. But it did have one thing riding for it. Whilst a drop of around 25% in its key audience is pretty damning, the fact that it was already on 89 episodes combined with NBC's desire to continue working with producer Geg Berlanti means a fifth season renewal will push it up past the magic 100 episode mark for a potentially lucrative syndication deal. So it is not going away entirely just yet. 7. Law Wildly successful podcasts were always going to be a new staple for TV shows looking for captive audiences for new projects. So the development of a law TV show on Amazon was never too surprising. What is surprising though is that it has now been cancelled after just a couple of seasons. 
Law's cancellation follows its second season, premiering back in October 2018, with very little about its future mentioned since then. That second season was changed after fan feedback of the first, with the creator admitting that the show perhaps focused its energy too much on paying homage to the podcast. Unfortunately, the changes don't seem to have helped, and somewhat catastrophically, they seem to have alienated fans who actually enjoyed the first season. So the writing was very much on the wall. 6. Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Few shows that run as long as Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. can claim to have actually got better over time, but that is exactly what the ABC show has managed. That's particularly impressive when you consider the very particular demands placed on the show thanks, in part, to the constant requirement for redefinition. The cancellation here has nothing to do with ratings or reviews, because both were great. In fact, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. was one of the hottest shows with catch-up audiences and the most in-demand Marvel TV show of all. It very much goes out on a high, and it was Marvel TV's choice, according to Jeff Loeb, who wanted the show to go out without any loose ends like the Netflix shows were forced to. You really have to also consider the upcoming launch of Disney Plus and the company's need to boost subscribers by bottlenecking their IPs and making sure their platform is basically the only place you can see anything. It's not rocket science that that would have played a part in the thinking. 5. Chambers Whilst The Haunting of Hill House proved that there is a voracious appetite for horror on Netflix, fellow frightful show Chambers didn't make it past its first season. Netflix pulled the trigger on the Uma Thurman starring show despite it ending on a cliffhanger. The company offered its usual thanks to the production team and cast, but the reality is that the psychological horror simply didn't land with anything like the impact of The Haunting of Hill House, which is why it wasn't one of the reported 80% of new shows that were renewed by Netflix. Reviews probably didn't help, with it currently sitting on just 41% on Rotten Tomatoes, as well as the simple fact will be that the response didn't match the cost of continuing to make it. 4. Designated Survivor Sometimes, shows being revived after initial cancellation leads to new life that is even more successful than the first time around. It happened with Family Guy, like twice, and more recently with Brooklyn Nine-Nine, and arguably also Lucifer. But it can't always happen. Despite riding in to save Designated Survivor with a third season, Netflix has decided against a fourth, following in ABC's wake and cancelling the show after its 10-episode revival. Apparently, it wasn't down to ratings, which makes sense since Designated Survivor was listed among Netflix's most-watched shows after its debut, and critics responded well too. For Keith Sutherland, the issue was the complicated contracts they signed and the fact that Netflix failed to book a lot of the actors for a potential fourth season, instead only putting together one-year deals and they have all moved on elsewhere. A show can't go on without its cast, plainly. 3. Happy Based on Grant Morrison and Derek Robertson's comic, Sci-Fi's Happy was genuinely brilliant, melding pitch-black comedy with fantasy elements and the typical pillars of a conventional crime show in one big, swoon-inducing pudding. Sadly, the cancellation isn't a surprise, though, because ratings really hit the skids. The second season averaged just 286,000 viewers, which amounted to a fairly catastrophic 57% drop on the first season. As a glimmer of hope, Universal Content Productions apparently plans to shop the series to other networks, and the first season's strong performance on Netflix might hold some promise. 2. The 100 Few shows these days make it to the seventh season point, so the CW's sci-fi show The 100 deserves considerable credit for the achievement. That it has been announced as cancelled after the seventh season by the decision of showrunner Jason Rothenberg rather than a network decision is further cause for celebration. Rothenberg announced the show's impending end on Twitter, confirming that the seventh and final season would be 16 episodes long, making it the longest since the third season and taking the show's total number of episodes up to 100. A eh? nice symbolism there? As the showrunner himself said, it is fitting that the 100 hits that mark, but it also makes syndication more likely, which probably helped with the decision just as much. In this age of savage and forced cancellations, it is nice for at least some shows to be bowing out on their own terms. 1. 13 Reasons Why Despite the controversy surrounding its first season, 13 Reasons Why is something of a juggernaut for Netflix and was a destination show that drove new subscriptions. In other words, it was one of the platform's golden geese, but one that they now must roast. Ahead of the release of the third season, Netflix announced that there will be one more, to be released in 2020, presumably, and the show will then end. 
Given that the announcement comes halfway through the total run and before the third season's ratings could even be a consideration, the cancellation has to have another reason. Apparently, according to a Netflix spokesperson at least, the showrunners feel the story will come to a natural conclusion at the end of the fourth and final season when all of the core characters leave high school. So that's the one reason why. And that's our list. Which show will you miss the most? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. I've been Ash and this has been What Culture. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and always shampoo twice for proper hair maintenance. Thanks for watching.